today I'm going to show you how we use the Tailwind Chrome extension for Pinterest. This is the entire key to how I scheduled over a thousand posts in just four hours. So it will change your entire Pinterest strategy. It's such a cool tool and you will never, ever go back. I learned about this tool in the Ultimate Pinterest Guide from my friend Carly of Toucan, which is also part of the Client Bundle launching March 2nd. The Client Bundle is a comprehensive collection of seven eBooks, tons of bonus contents, worksheets, checklists, etc., and a private Facebook community just for members of the Client Bundle dedicated to helping you find more clients as a creative entrepreneur. So if you wanna learn more, make sure you check out theclientbundle.com um, so you can be notified when it's available and start booking even more clients. So let's get right into the Tailwind Chrome extension today. So we logged into Tailwind and we're in our uh, publisher over here under drafts. And so you can see all these drafts that I have here. Um, but how did I get all of these pens in here? What you can do is create a new pen. You can upload an image, choose a board, write the description, put in the link, et cetera. But there is a much easier way to do it. So for instance, if you want to um, pen everything that you've been doing on Instagram lately, it's really easy to do that with the Chrome extension. So you're basically just gonna go and type in, you know, Tailwind Chrome extension. Tailwind Publisher. And then you're just gonna download this extension. And what you're gonna see is this nice little Tailwind up here. So you can only use on Chrome. I'm really sorry, but we all know Chrome is the best anyway. So just go to the page that has the photos that you want to pin or schedule for your Pinterest. And then you just click the Tailwind Publisher. So it's not gonna get every single post. Um, I have 1,900 posts on Instagram, so that would take forever. But it'll get your last 20 or so, which is amazing. So you can see all of our last Instagram posts are up here. And what's cool is they've got the captions, the hashtags, everything already on it. And you'll see here this link that says Instagram.com, meaning it'll link directly to that page that we were on. So whenever someone clicks on one of these pins, it'll go directly back to my Instagram, which is awesome. And I don't have to type in that link every single time like I would if I was uploading these individually. So we've got our picture, we've got our link, we've got our caption. Some of mine are a little bit aggressive I'm seeing right now. But anyway, it's all good to go. And then you just have to click on them. So say I click on these three, you can do you know as many as you want there and you just click go schedule. And then it pulls them in here and you have the ability to change the source URL just in case you want this to link somewhere else. Um, it's an easier way to get them in here with the captions and everything, um, even if you wanted to link somewhere else. But the, for my Instagram, I definitely want to link directly to my Instagram because that's kind of the point of pinning my Instagram. So then you can also, choose your boards. And what's cool is that you can choose different boards. So say these were all blog posts, um, you could choose that. You could also choose to add these all to my collaborative wedding stationary one. And then I could do individual boards. So this one is also, you know, a business resource about business and entrepreneurship. Um, this one also will fit well on my envelope calligraphy board. And maybe this one also fits well in my Mediterranean Citrus wedding board. So I'm getting this little note that just says I may have already pinned one of these to our boards. That's completely fine. Um, if you've read my friend Carly's book, which is the ultimate Pinterest guide, I'll also link that below. Um, she talks about how it's okay to pin some of the same things to the same boards as long as you're not pinning them all directly in a row. So what's gonna happen if we go to schedule these, don't worry, I'm going to delete them later because I haven't spent a lot of time paying attention to this while I'm chatting with you guys. Um, so you'll also get some other ideas of things you wanna go ahead and add to Q. So say we love this little picture of this guy reading his note, we'll go ahead and add that to Q as well. And you can change up the boards or whatever you want. So this is a great way to get some content that isn't your own that um, they'll pull up as stuff that makes sense for you. So maybe you wanna add this little cake one to our cake and spill board. Sweet, awesome. So then you go to schedule and you go back to Tailwind, you will have all of those photos at the very end of your queue here. So you can see I've got, so you can see like this one is showing three different times because we put it on three different boards. 
So it's going to envelope calligraphy, collaborative wedding stationery, and blog posts. So like I said earlier, you can't just pen everything all at once. So that's going to pen the same image three times in a row to three, three different boards. And Pinterest doesn't like that. So the magic of Tailwind is the shuffle cue button. And I'm going to go ahead and lock a couple of these so I can delete them later. Let's just So I'm going to go ahead and click shuffle cue, click yes, shuffle my cue. And then those guys see one of them's right here for envelope calligraphy. One of them is right here. So all of those photos go into my cue in a more cohesive way. So I'm no longer, here's another one of those. So I'm no longer pinning them right in order one after the other. So Pinterest won't be so upset about that. And if you do find something, like if you don't want you know, these two look really similar. They're actually the same photo. So I don't want those pinning next to each other. So I can just drag and drop that guy here. And then it'll automatically fill in the one that we had there. Or for instance, if you have some that are scheduled today that you want to leave scheduled today, you can always just click this lock button. And when you shuffle, it will not move that one out of that spot. So another great use for this Chrome extension is if you're on someone's page, like the amazing Eleni K photography, um, you say, I really like this photo. I can, with Tailwind, I can go on and click schedule, kind of like just pinning something, or I can click this little guy and it brings up all of those photos. So I could choose a bunch of them and go schedule them directly. So this is a great way to get content that isn't your own. Maybe go to some vendor sites that you wanna support, who you know you love their work and it's really consistent with the style that you have, um, and then click this. And then all of a sudden I've got three new posts and you know we can put this one on my wedding bouquets. Um, we can put some of these on the venues or whatever boards that you want to put them on. I'll put them all on our main board. So then now I have six full pens. They're gonna link directly to Alana's site and they have the captions that she put onto these images. So she's gonna get searched when it says like Winston-Salem wedding photographer, she's gonna search for that. So she's gonna really appreciate that we've pinned these things. Um, as a side note, if you have um, Squarespace or any of these other sites, when you're uploading your images, whatever you put as your alt text or your image title, is what's gonna pull in here. So if you think people are gonna be pinning your work in the future, then you wanna go ahead and put something, instead of leaving it as like image 326, you wanna go ahead and put something that's gonna be searchable on Pinterest because that's gonna help you get those clicks that you want. You wanna just click schedule all. And then typically after I've done this a few times, I go back through and uh, do one more shuffle just to make sure everything is where we want it to be. And I love this little venue. So we'll just kind of add that to the queue because I think it works with our overall vibe. So that's how you use the Tailwind Chrome extension. It's a free extension um, and we'll have a link below where you can get 100 free pens on Tailwind so you can go ahead and try it out. They also schedule your Instagram posts if you want and you can get 31, so basically a month free of Instagram post scheduling if you'd like also with that link. So. Definitely take a look at it. Um, Tailwind will absolutely change your life when it comes to all of this. There's no way that I could be scheduled out um, till the end of the month. I did this. So I haven't touched Pinterest or Tailwind in a couple of weeks and I'm still scheduled out um, for over a month here. So it's a really awesome tool that you can use. And as always, um, let us know if you have questions in the comments, give us a like or a subscribe if you enjoyed this video so that you can uh, enjoy more conversations and tips for creative business owners. Thanks everyone.